In this super quick Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you how to limit form characters in Webflow. So in this example website, we just have a form on the right hand side and a message on the left. And right here where it says company description, the user can type in their description for their company. And this is all done in a native Webflow form, but you'll notice it actually says 300 words or less. So we've actually applied a native code into the Webflow form that limits 300 characters. So I'll show you exactly what I mean by this. I just have this website that counts the words. And if I just copy and paste a random text and I paste it here, you can see this one has 304 characters. So if I actually just get rid of the last sentences or words, you can see right now it has 272 characters. So if I copy this, go back to that form and paste it, you can see everything is working. It's showing everything. But if I go back to this word count and let's just say, for example, I just copy and paste this paragraph right here, you'd see right now it's 456 characters. So now if I copy everything and go back to this form, you'll notice that it's actually cutting off right here where it says counting words. I, I'm actually typing right now on my keyboard. It doesn't let me because I've exceeded the 300 character limit. So let's go ahead and do this in Webflow. Super easy. All you need to do is just drag in a Webflow form. You can go ahead and do this by hitting the plus icon and hitting form block right here. Then you can go ahead and just style your form however you want. This is not a video on how to style your form, but I'm going to go ahead and copy this field label and I'm going to type in message right here and I'm going to go ahead and hit plus and there's a field called text area. This actually works if it's a text field or text area, but in this case it makes sense if it's a text area because we want more text. So right now you can see that I can add a class called text-area and let's go ahead and apply this code. So all you need to do is just hit settings right here. Then where it says custom attributes right here, you just want to hit plus and then where it says name and value, all you need to do is just type in max length, max length. And then you can go ahead and just type in whatever max length you want. So for example, I put 300, but in this case, I might just put 100. And for better user experience, what you can do is in the message, you can put a bracket saying 100 word limit, that way they know. And then you can go ahead and just style this text area. What I recommend is just putting a min height. Let's just say, for example, 12 rem, just so we can see what's going on. Now we hit publish to selected domains and we can just test everything out. So it's super easy. All we need to do is just add a attribute and let's go ahead and test this. This is currently set to 100 word limit. So let's go back to the word counter and let's go ahead and just delete some words. This is 178 characters. Let's go ahead and copy this and let's go back to the page and paste this. And you'll notice that's actually cutting me off at if an author has to write a minimum. So if I go back to this word count and I'll delete it all the way up to here, you can see that's 99 slash 100 characters. That's why it limits it. So super, super easy stuff. Um, very easy tutorial. Uh, another thing that you just want to keep in mind, this is a bonus tip, just for user experience, you'll notice as a user experience person or designer, we need to pay attention to very small details. In a default text area, you can see there's this three lines at the bottom, which indicates the fact that you can stretch everything out like so. And I've seen this in Webflow templates where nobody cares about this, but what we really need to do is when you go back into Webflow, and understand why this is happening. This is happening because the width is set to auto, height auto, min width zero pixels, and then none, 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 and none. So the min height, we actually put 12 rem, but by default, it's none. So what we should do in this case is put a min width of 100%. So it has to be minimum 100%, meaning that it cannot shrink below 100%. So it can't do stuff like this, unless you want it to do stuff like this, which is a bit weird. And then you want to set a max width of 100% because we don't want it to go beyond 100%. So right now we don't want to go beyond this box right here. Then what you'll notice is right now I can actually go higher and lower, which is fine. And that's it. So just the min width of 100%, max width of 100%, and you can obviously put a max height uh, if you want. But in this case, we put a min height of 12 rem. So that's why this cannot go below 12 rem, like so, it cannot shrink. Uh, but you can also set a max height if you don't want to go super long over the page. But make sure that is done. That's a tip that I give to you and nobody pays attention to these things, but as a user experience, you need to. So let's go ahead and refresh the page. And what you'll notice is right here, I cannot stretch this left to right anymore. I can go higher, but I can't, I can't, 
I can't go lower than 12 rem. And if you really want, you can set it to max height of, I don't know, like 24 rems. So hope you found this video helpful. Super quick tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. And if you found value in this video, please check out my website, dericsu.com.au slash value for even more value. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.